Hello friends, welcome to Daring Marana YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing about what is top dead center of a piston and how ways to find top dead center of an oxygen engine in order to check the tapper clearance. Okay. So let's see. TDC or top dead center means uppermost position of piston in the cylinder of an engine. TDC or top, de top dead center means uppermost position of piston in the center of cylinder of an engine. It is the point from which ignition system measurements are made and the firing order is determined. Okay, top dead center is the point from which ignition system measurements are made and firing order can be determined. So engineers use different methods to find TDC of an oxygen engine. That means top, we use as an engineer we use different methods to find top dead center of an oxygen engine. So let's discuss some of the methods. So TDC means uppermost position of piston in, in the cylinder of an engine. It is the point from which ignition system measurements are made and the firing order is determined. And we as an engineer, we use different methods to find out TDC of an auxiliary engine. So here this picture we can see top dead center. It is the uppermost position. Okay. So far we can say flywheel method. This is the <coughs> this is the simplest and common method used to find TDC. Here, in flywheel, unit members are masked. So in the flywheel, the unit number are marked. Whichever comes on TDC, if the flywheel shows two unit, then both unit will be at TDC. That means one will be firing, that means both inlet and exhaust valve will be closed, and hence both push rods will become loose. Other unit will have a rocker arm at different level. Okay, flywheel method means it is the simplest and common method ever used to find TDC. Yes, in this we have we also have done just rotate the flywheel. In flywheel, the unit number are marked. So which ever which use uh, the unit number are marked. And whichever come on TDC, then flywheel shows two unit. Okay, that both unit will be at TDC. One will be firing. That means both inlet and exhaust are closed, and hence both push rod will become loose. And other will be having rocker arm at different level. Then next method is fuel pump method. In fuel pump method means there is a cut marking on both fuel pump body and plunger of fuel pump. On both the fuel pump body and plunger of fuel pump, there will be a cut marking. When this mark matches, fuel injection takes place. At this point, the piston ignition starts. This will be almost a 4 to 6 degree before TDC and inlet and exhaust valve are closed. Here, fuel pump method means there will be a cut marking both fuel pump body and plunger of fuel pump. When this marking matches, the fuel injection takes place. At this point, piston ignition starts and there will be 4 to 6 degree before TDC, inlet and exhaust valve will be closed. Camshaft method. Camshaft method means top dead center can be found out by the position of fallover. In the fuel cam and exhaust valve cap. So here top dead center can be found out by our position of fallover in the fuel cam and exhaust valve cap. Here we will open the cam shaft door and we will check the position of fallover in the fuel cam and exhaust cap. So we will be doing open the cam shaft door and check position of fallover in the fuel cam and exhaust cap. If fallover is in raised position in fuel cam, the fallover is in the raised position in the fuel cam. At this point, fuel position is going on, and this time both inlet and exhaust valve are closed. And position is a TDC. If in, in this position, if the follower is in raised position, is a top position, at this point, fuel injection is going on. That means at this time both inlet and exhaust valves are closed and piston is a top dead center. At this point, exhaust follower is in dual position. Exhaust follower will be in dual position. Okay. Camshaft method means here TDC can be found out by the position of follower in the fuel cam and exhaust valve cam. We open the camshaft door and check the position of follower in the fuel cam and exhaust cam. If the follower is in raised position, then at this point, fuel injection is going on, and this time both inlet and exhaust valve are closed, and position is a TDC. At this point, exhaust follower is in dual position. <coughs> push rod method. Check if push rods are free to turn. The unit at the TDC has the push rod free to turn because of the loose spring. At this point, both inlet and exhaust valve will be closed. Push rod method means check if the push rods are free to turn. The unit at the TDC that will be push rod free to turn because of the loose spring. At this point, both inlet and exhaust valves are closed. Then, valve spring method. Valve spring method. This is not an independent method. This will be as a continuation of a congestion with the flywheel method. In this method, the flywheel is indicating two units. You can check springs of both units. The unit where the spring are loose is that one is a TDC. And the question is that if this method is used for engine in use, you have to remove the rocker arms during the overhaul. And therefore, you have to use this method and it may cause many errors and all. So the, this is not practical using, but this is also a method. This is a independent, not an independent method, but this is used in conjunction with the flywheel method. In this method, 
flywheel is integrated in two units and you can check the spring of both the unit the unit where the spring are loose that one is a TDC and the question is that if this method is useful for engineering use then if you have removed the rocker off during overhaul therefore this may, this may cause errors with this method crankcase method means this is the simplest method in this method means we will open the crankcase door and piston will visually checking whether it is going up or down crankcase method means this is the simplest method in this method we will open the crankcase door and we will open up the piston and we will visually check whether the piston is going up or down then dial gauge method in this method the fuel injector will be taken out from the opening and dial gauge is put inside that means fuel injector is taken out from the opening and dial gauge is put inside and then turning gear is engaged <coughs> and engine is tuned and turned over then turning gear is engaged and engine is turned over the point of dial gauge will move in one direction and then stop and start in opposite direction the dial gauge will pointer of the dial gauge will move in one direction after that it will stop and start in opposite direction the moment of pointer of dial gauge stop and changes the direction of the moment the moment of pointer of dial gauge stop changes the direction of this moment this moment is the TDC of the unit this method is not normally used in day-to-day -day practice but may be used in calibration of flywheel if it is not calibrated after repair this dial gauge method is normally used in dial but for the calibration purpose after the major repair center dial gauge method means in this method fuel entry will be taken out from the opening and dial gauge is put inside the turning gear is engaged and the engine is turned over the point of the dial gauge will move in one direction and the stop and start in opposite direction okay the moment of point of the dial gauge stops and changes direction at this moment it is the TDC of the unit and this method is not normally used in day-to-day -day practice but may be used in cal calibration for the flywheel if it is not calibrated after repair <coughs> thank you